Excellent. So uh, now we are going to be demonstrating treatment of uh, epidermal pigmentation. And with epidermal pigmentation, as mentioned in the webinar, uh, in the presentations, we can use pigment-specific lasers like the Q-switched lasers. Uh, when the pigmentation is epidermal, then we select the 532. When the pigmentation is dermal, then we use the 1064. However, sometimes uh, treating pigmentation might require several sessions and the outcome might be not very satisfactory. An alternative to that is to use the Herbemiag for superficial peeling of the uh, skin for the epidermis and this is going to take care of the epidermal pigmentation. Definitely, there will be a little bit more downtime because there is a very superficial wound, but one session usually is enough to take care of the pigmentation as we are going to see today. So today I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things. If we have certain uh, localized epidermal pigmentation, then we can ablate it using the micro short pulse of the Herbemiag of Photona. Uh, and if we have disseminated and wide scattered pigmentation, then we need to do resurfacing, very superficial peeling of the skin in order to get rid of these pigments uh, in a very homogeneous fashion. So we are going to demonstrate both the situations and we are going to see how effective this treatment is. So we select the Herbemiag and with the Herbemiag I go for the expert where I'm playing with the parameters in order to get the appropriate amount of ablation and minimal amount of coagulation because when we are treating epidermal pigmentation we want just to ablate the skin layers which is having the pigment without too much thermal uh, residue and damage to the skin in order to ensure faster healing. So this is what we balance we would like to achieve. We are using the short pulse so the micro short pulse is the shortest pulse duration which ensures that the effect is going to be mainly ablation and very minimal coagulation. So the MSP is used. We are using the R11 handpiece, which is the full field uh, resurfacing. And then we are going to be using the, the small spot size, two millimeter spot, and we increase the fluence in order to see about 15 microns of ablation. So we can see here that the ablation and coagulation is shown. So increase the fluence up to 15 microns of ablation. So now it's 15 microns ablation and only 11 microns of coagulation. So this is the ratio of ablation coagulation we would like to achieve. And those are the settings we are going to be uh, using today. This was achieved with five joule per centimeter square with two millimeter spot with the R11 handpiece. We have to make sure that we adjust the spot size of the handpiece according to uh, the adjustment on the screen. So we have to use the two millimeter spot. So now it is two millimeter and the machine is ready to go. I have to wear my gloves. We have to make sure that the skin is cleaned well. The patient is wearing the goggle. I am wearing the goggle. So we are going to start in a minute. So we are ready to go. The machine is, uh, is set. We just need to put it on ready. We confirm that uh, we are using the right spot size. And now we are going to be removing this brown spot. I don't know if this is clear to the camera or no. I'm going to remove this brown spot and then this one and show you how it's easy to remove it in a few seconds and with almost no pain. Courtney is a little bit uh, worried of the pain. We are going to hear a loud sound, but that's it. So this is the sound and I think you are feeling nothing. Yeah, that's not bad yet. Yet. So we have to have a wet gauze and a dry one. So after a few pulses, we just wipe the tissue we treated. And we evaluate if we need to do a little bit more or that's enough. So as we can see, it became much lighter, but we need to do a little bit more. It's almost removed now. I, I can see no more pigmentation. The pigmentation is gone. So we remove the tissue. 
which was ablated and we can see that there is no more pigment in this spot can you see pigmentation is gone yeah. almost maybe a little bit more here and that's it so in a few seconds there is no more pigmentation in this spot i'm going also to remove another spot here so that we we can demonstrate that and we can see the effect so we are going to remove this and the pigment is almost gone How is the pain? Barely anything at all. Okay, so we can see that the pigment is almost gone. The skin was peeled off with the pigment and usually it will take maybe three, four days for healing, but we get rid of the pigment. We can target the edges so that we are sure that there is no uh, remaining lesions. I do a little bit of defocusing so that the spot is a bit smaller so I am able to target a smaller spot and now even the edge is free and it is not having any pigment anymore so this is what we do if we have a localized focal lesion which would like to get rid of it takes few seconds it didn't require even anesthesia i'm not using cooling and we can see that it is instant improvement of the skin it will take maybe three four uh, days for healing and uh, i think it's a very simple procedure usually patients are very happy and it doesn't require uh, to be treated uh, to be repeated once again of course in a case like courtney where we have this uh, kind of skin which is very light and with freckles uh, this is a kind of photosensitivity, so uh, using sunscreen afterwards is very important to prevent having more lesions to occur. So this is part of your daily routine which you have to keep in order to avoid the recurrence of having new freckles and lesions. Okay. okay? So what we are going to do now is to do a resurfacing for another area which is going to be uh, covering the whole area. Maybe it's not going to get rid of uh, all the freckles from one session but it is going to be when we have such uh, widespread freckles we cannot go after one by one in this case we have to do resurfacing and uh, we are going to uh, aim at ablating the superficial layers of the skin in order to uh, clear the pigments out and this is what we are going to do in this case we are going to be still using the MSP and the R11 but we have to use a larger spot size maybe five joules and then we would like to see more ablation. So ablation seven microns, which is the maximum fluence we can get with the five, is going to be a little bit uh, too mild. So in this case, I go for something called turbo, where we can get stacking of pulses. So instead of basic, we go for turbo two, and turbo two means stacking of two pulses. In this case, we are ablating 15 microns of the epidermis, and this will give us a much better improvement and faster result. So now this is six joules with the turbo two, 1.7 hertz, five millimeter spot. And this is what we are going to be doing now. So we are adjusting the spot size to five. So this is a five millimeter spot and we put the machine on ready. We confirm that this is the five millimeter spot and we start to treat an area with the objective of resurfacing to improve uh, the color of certain area. Courtney, this is going to be uh, just the same. With this, we are supposed to be using 
uh, smoke evacuator. How is the pain? Tolerable. It is tolerable. Okay. And keep in mind that this is being administered without anesthesia. If we apply topical anesthesia, then the patient will feel nothing. So this is one pass on this area where we would like to uh, clean the skin. So this was one pass and we might need to do two or three passes in order to get a good improvement of the pigment. But we can see already some change with the first pass. So we make sure that we remove the tissue depress. We can see that the area uh, improved. And then now we are going to start with the second pass. How are you doing with the pain? It's a little bit more sensitive than the first time, but not bad. We should have applied the anesthesia. <laughs> so this is the second pass, and you can see that the area we treated is the pigmentation is much less. Mm -hmm. If we can do a third pass, then definitely it's going to show even more improvement. Can you see the difference? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, do you feel it's too much burning? I think or we can, can do one more. One more, okay. It's that would hurt, be much but... better, yeah. Okay, so we'll do the third and the last pass now. Here I can be a little bit more selective on the areas of pigments. I don't need to go everywhere. Almost done. Okay. So this is what we do when we have widespread uh, freckles, because we cannot target one freckle by one freckle. In this case, we do the superficial peeling of the skin. And as we can see, this area is definitely lighter than the surrounding skin before and after. And we are going to keep this as a test area in order to see how it's going to respond. The erythema, which is expected, uh, very superficial uh, crusting of the skin. And then we can see how lighter it is going to be within uh, one week or 10 days. Okay, the skin is not very much red. We expect to apply uh, a skincare product, which is going to be a good moisturizer, something to promote the healing. And in this case, we uh, ensure that the skin will heal very quickly and very uh, smoothly without any problems. Okay.